Okay, guys, sorry for not getting anything up yesterday. I actually went to the cinema yesterday night, so I didn't really get anything recorded. But uh, we got an alphabet game here against Shine Williams 2, um, and uh, I played this person a while ago, and uh, yeah, it was a pretty decent alphabet game. Um, they were using pretty whorish, well, not whorish, well, yes, whorish, let's be honest. Very OU guys, where I was kind of using a mixed team of guys, some good, some bad, and it uh, kind of all worked out in that way. So I lead off with Swallow, and uh, already I'm afraid of the bullet punch. I'm pretty sure this guy's going to be banded. If not, it will show life orb. Um, but judging how much that does to Azumarill, and uh, seeing that there's no life orb damage, I'm pretty much 100% sure that that Sizzle is banded. So um, I, uh, I just stay in there with Azumarill, and I'm just going to go for the waterfall because it's my strongest stab move and uh, he goes to Skarmory so I the waterfall I'm thinking should be around a two or three hit KO if not just a three hit KO it does just over half and uh, with lefties I know that it won't two hit KO but I want to go for it anyway just you know to force the roost or force anything else turns out he's gonna be faster than me anyway and set up the rocks which is quite crucial for him because uh, rocks are gonna sort of pain guys like Swallow who I have and a couple of other guys so it's uh, it's gonna be quite tight in terms of me trying to get everyone in in terms of rocks, I don't have a spinner, so um, I go to Titar, and uh, here he roosts, as I predicted, I knew he'd just go for the roost because I uh, was not outspeeding him, and another waterfall wouldn't have, you know, killed him, it would have taken him down even lower, and it would just have been a cycle of me losing health to Sandstorm while he gradually gains it back from roost. So here I decide to go for the Dragon Dance, um, he either sees that coming, or knows that he can live any sort of hit, and whirlwinds me out, which is pretty bad for me, it means that I do not manage to get up my Dragon Dance quite quite yet, and I cannot go up against him, so he well went out to Croquet, my uh, Toxicroak thing that I love, it's freaking awesome, and here I predict that he's going to whirlwind me again, predicting my Swords Dance, which is why I decide, you know, I don't really have anything to go to, I don't want to switch if he's going to whirlwind me again, and I don't want to set up, because I'll just lose my stat boost, so I just decide I'm going to go for a strong stab move, go for the cross chop, see how much it does, and hopefully he'll just blow me away, but uh, unfortunately he goes for the Brave Bird, which is going to be a one hit KO, it's super effective, it's stab from Skarmory, and even though he's a wall, Toxicroak is really frail, so it's going to go down to that, which is a real shame, because uh, that's uh, a major sweeper, he has priority and Sucker Punch, and loads of other attributes that could make him useful later on, but unfortunately he is down, out of the game, and I'm going to have to think of something to bring in here, because this Skarmory is really getting up in my grill, I need something to take it out, and uh, I have one special attacker on the team, I go to Roserade, and uh, I use Hidden Power Ice. Something I forgot to mention is the fact that the this the alphabet battle, um, the word for this alphabet battle was starts, S-T-A-R-T-S, -T -T starts, I'll put it, flash it up on screen just now so you can see if you don't hear what I'm saying. Anyway, goes to Scizor, the bullet punch is pretty obvious, although I'm looking at my team and I'm thinking I can't go to Titar because it's going to die to a bullet punch, Swellow is really frail, it's going to take rock damage, it's going to die to a bullet punch as well, and I don't really have anything apart from Azumarill to go to. I don't want to go to Azumarill because it's going to limit its sweeping potential, so in the end I decide I have to stay in, I'm scarfed and I am stuck on Hidden Power Ice, have to go for it, and he actually goes for the U-turn, which um, in the end is going to take out my Roserade regardless, he would have taken it out with two bullet punches minimum, so that's uh, that's pretty much what happens there, and Roserade goes down, but uh, at least in this way I managed to get the switch advantage, because he goes to Azelf, and my guy goes down, so uh, now I have the advantage of knowing what he has in, and now, because uh, Sandstorm goes, I can see whether it has, you know, some sort of item, if it has leftovers, Azelf doesn't carry leftovers, but still, um, it would break a possible sash or anything of the like, which is useful for me in any regard. So I'm thinking what to go to here, I decide Mrs, not Mrs T, Triple T, because it's like Triple X, but Triple T uh, is my best option, and I do not see the explosion coming whatsoever, I thought that he would not have a chance to do anything to me, which is why I go for the Dragon Dance, and uh, this is a real shame, because um, he has Sizzle left, obviously, and he's going to be able to bring it in and bullet punch me, so I did not expect him to explode like that, I thought he'd switch out fearing the crunch, and uh, he just goes boom in my face, which was a huge blow, um, I do carry the Babiri Berry simply forces, or which is why I felt safe Dragon Dancing on the Azelf, knowing that I would be able to take a Bullet Punch if he decided to switch instances or to take the predicted crunch, but um, in the end it doesn't work out because uh, the Dragon Dance all goes down in vain as he Bullet Punches me away. So he's locked into Bullet Punch now, Azumarill 
Gale comes in, takes rock damage, isn't good for me because, you know, Sandstorm rocks is all heating up on Azumarill. And uh, if he's going to have any chance of doing well in this game, he's just going to, you know, have to bear through it and bear through this damage. So I take the bullet punch and it does more than I kind of it want it to but you know he's choice banded and I pretty much expected it to do a lot anyway and uh, thankfully because I'm choice banded as well as being max HP um, I'm max attack so uh, the choice band waterfall with stab manages to take him out obviously he wasn't running any defensive EVs of any sort so here is uh, here's the big thing I know he has uh, Rampardos here and I know that the way that I'm going to take this thing out is going to be aqua jetting I'm not sure if he's going to be scarfed or not um, and I go to Swellow because I'm predicting an Earthquake and uh, I do dodge it, which is great. Now, if he is Scarfed, then he's going to have to switch out because he's going to be locked in Earthquake. Um, I get my Flame Orb, which is perfect because now I have the Guts Boost and uh, any attack that I use is going to, you know, damage any switch in he brings in. I decide to go for the Stab Facade because I'm predicting a switch and I don't know what he has left to go to. Um, turns out the Brave Bird would have been better in that instance because he does go to a Torterra and uh, the Torterra is going to eat the Facade pretty nicely, um, but uh, he's not going to survive a Brave Bird. So I decide to go for the Brave Bird here, hopefully take him out, but uh, what I do not see coming is the fact that he carries protect which is a real pain for me because now he's stalling out my own sandstorm on me stalling out my own burn and um, I do not like the way this is going because unless I manage to get a brave bird on this guy it's going to be a real pain to take out I need a zoomerill to be locked into aqua jet and I do have to get him down thankfully he does not d decide to be a douchebag does not go for the double protect and I do take him out with the brave bird but that is at the cost of my swallow sandstorm or burn would have taken it out anyway so um, I'm just going to go down and now I'm in a pretty sticky situation I have Azumarill left, I have one more guy, I can't actually remember what my sixth guy is, but I know I have one other guy apart from Azumarill. Uh, he has Rampardos left, and he has one other guy that he hasn't revealed yet, so it's kind of a tense matchup, I'm not sure what he's going to be going to, I'm kind of thinking between Azumarill and this, this guy to see what, you know, what I should bring in. And uh, he goes to a T-Tar, and I'm thinking, crap, if this Aqua Jet does not take out the T-Tar, then I'm pretty much done for, if he gets a free Dragon Dance or anything close to it, I am done. I go for the Aqua Jet, I pray to take him out, and look at that, I get a critical hit. That was so huge, that was just ridiculous, because uh, if I had not been for that crit, I probably would not have been able to take out the T-Tar, I mean, I know I wouldn't have been able to take it out, and he would have uh, trolled on my other guy, I can't even remember who my other guy was, but I knew that I was scared of the T-Tar. So uh, he goes out to this guy who is very frail, is not going to be able to take an Aqua Jet, um, it doesn't need a crit whatsoever, just takes him out in one hit, and that is the game, so absolutely awesome game there, um, Shine Williams 2, I'll leave the link in the description, um, and bloody hell, that was that was so close, did not expect to pull that one out of the bag, but um, that's what happens in 4th gen, you get some pretty close matches, you know, I haven't been seeing many epic games in 5th gen yet, which is li why I like to keep, you know, 4th gen going, because it still has that epic quality to it, so um, I'm going to be out now, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next video, comrade sub, peace!